Hi guys, it's me, Joseph Lindsay again. And I know I know I'm missing two things here, yeah, but I get I give my head to a good cause. The lots of love people, they, they need it more than I do. The people the little kids with cancer need my hair more than well I, I do. So I give it away to them for the second time. I w wish you could do more, but I can't. But um, anyway, for this video, it's dedicated to Asia, Asia History Fund for 2024. <clears throat> uh, I would like to <clears throat> talk about some music. Specifically in the genre of of um, K-pop. Now K-pop is something that I don't really know that much about, but I know that over a decade ago, the big one came out, the muzzleload of all K-pop, and that was from a guy named Sai, and his big hit was was um. Gangnam Style. Now Gangnam Style comes from the this posh uh, type area in the South Korea. It's like a industrial area, like high tech place, like a lot of money involved in it too. So I figured to talk about this one. Now I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I originally had this. When it first came out, when that song pretty much came out, like a month or two afterwards. And, uh, it was actually pretty, yeah, pretty fun, the song. And it, it made, well, over one billion views. Because the song was so, um, uniquely stupid, you know, and thought himself was, performed a very interesting dance like a, a, I remember him saying it with a skinky leg a skinky leg plus um uh, like he was riding on a horse at one point and it was just a fun dance I couldn't do it and I still can't do it no matter how so physically fit I am but let me tell you it is one of the funniest songs you ever got to see you know, you can only understand a few words, but like, dig themselves and, um, <clears throat> and when, um, uh, hey, sexually, he, now, it's really quite funny, that song. Because I, I tend to, I tend to believe that it was, um, you know, when I first heard the song and made a video for it, I, um, it was taken down by YouTube for various reasons. <clears throat> so, I decided to, um, do, do it again because I got addressed the Godfather, the big boom in K-pop in America here. This, this song is, um, it's, when I think of it, I think of it as more of a fever dream of a guy that is passed out from drinking too much on the, uh, on a beach chair. Because, um, in there, it's in dreaming, and you seem to have an vision of a beautiful Asian woman. Fit him down with, like, a Ping Pong Paddle, which is not older than fantasy. And then you got the little kid next to him that that's, um, owns his own dance moves, and it's real, real funny. But then you go into the horse table, and you can do a dance there. And you can, like, in a warehouse with, like, two beautiful women getting shot in the face with confetti. It's kind of over the top, but then you have like little 
little other vignettes in which he, in which Sai is being, um, like doing like a dance competition with this guy, and then you, and then like a parking garage. My favorite bit the, the part with the party bus, with the, um, party boy in the elevator, and then again with the, um, yoga women, for obvious reasons, I can't really explain why that is now, but, um, yeah, the, there was this one person on the subway where he was doing his little dance, and he, she reminded me of, um, they do a little, they do a little dance, but later on in, in, uh, in Funk's career, she does her own rendition of it, where she does like, a gungum style, a little instant little scoop of like, gungum style. And it's really funny. Anyway, um, I like the, I like the part where he, uh, the, the way he treated his sheet down over the years with, um, doing the stupid little gal dance there. It's very funny. But then you got things like, um, <clears throat> then you got things like, um, the, the thing with the yoga. Now, I, I like, I like yoga. I like, I like beautiful women. I like beautiful women doing yoga. Because me that very cute and precious. But um I think I think that Sai himself could afford to do the yoga for himself. Oh well, yeah, and for some reason I uh, like when they have the women playing tennis with the back kicks of the thigh, moving the body in the in the rhythm of the song. That's really good to me to me for some reason than another. <clears throat> but, um, the next thing is, um, these are all, like, random little vignettes for, for each other, so they really, they really don't have that much to do with each other, except for when they have, like, a, a scene that, I guess, women doing, uh, like, turning over from one to another, and it's really quite, quite cool. And find a way to do it. So I, you, you got my respect. Good. Now it is funny and cool, but he's drawn into it with equally beautiful women. And I kind of pay my respects to that because, to my knowledge, the only other men in the movie in the video are that um, part guy and the. Um, and the, um, the car guy in the park garage with the car. I find it really, really funny that most of the other people are um, women. And in most of the other works that most women do. Which, good job with, with casting, you know. There aren't too many people out there that would do, with, that, would do that with women. But I do kind of like point that the, the majority of this being Korean, you know, um, I know you're probably one stuff like that, but a, a, subtitle, a subtitle would be nice, or a dubbing would be nice too, but um, yeah. What's your favorite part of this music video? And as usual, I give this my happy face seal of approval because it's funny. It's got very low women and co stars, and it's very groovy. Now, um, gotta, gotta say, I salute him, and anyone that likes this, this video, and if anyone likes my stuff, 
you want to see more of my videos then because you can always like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Well, if you want, you can always comment, you can always, um, <clears throat> you can always, um, contact me by, by, call me or give me a, um, text message at 631-707-3707. Or if you want, you can get me on my Twitter at PeteMastonPro. That's PeteMastonPro. On the Twitter, or actually if you prefer. And if you want, you can reach me at my email at JJ's Viewing Channel at gmail.com. So, I salute anyone that is into this stuff, Sly or anybody else that like to keep up. I salute anybody that's involved with keep up because this song pretty much made a big boom, a big boom for that. And I thank you for enjoying my video on this the Asian History Month for 2024. And also, um, I would like to, um, <clears throat> say peace out my parents and sisters. And, uh, <clears throat> I would like to say, uh, you know, aloha. And I will be putting the, the link for Locks of Love. That's Locks of Love. So that you can make your own hair donation or financial donation to these very fine people who provide a very good service to the poor children who are stricken now with cancer of various types and months go to chemotherapy. We all know what happens during chemotherapy, so that's definitely, you know, any small little contribution can help out with little kids. So, so hello guys. I'll see you in the next video.